Good day students, welcome to mathgodserve.com. In this clip, we're going to be going over another presentation on our basic section of our virtual geometry text, looking at the angle addition postulate. Don't forget, we have four practice problems at the end of this tutorial that I would like you to try out in order to demonstrate that you've mastered the contents of this presentation. All right, to get us started, we're going to consider what the angle addition postulate is, all right, and then we're going to apply it to some problems. So what is the angle addition postulate? So let's say we have um, two small angles combined together to form a big angle, okay? So let's say we have angle A, and then this is the vertex ABC. So that's the first small angle, all right? And then we have another small angle, C, B, D. The angle addition postulate basically helps us to solve problems involving the combination of these two small angles to form the big angle, all right? So formally, it can be expressed as follows. If C, a point C is the interior point interior point of angle ABD, then we're going to have the following equation. The measure of angle ABC, so that's, you can look at it as small one, the first small angle, plus the measure of angle CBD, which is the second small angle, we can call that small two, is equal to, guess what? The measure of the big angle, the combination or the addition of the two angles, which is the measure of angle A, B, D. Alrighty, so just remember this, that the small angle plus the small angle will give you the big angle. Okay, as long as they share a common side in this configuration. Now that we have the angle addition postulate, let's take a look at some examples. All right, let's consider question number one, and it applies to this diagram that we have right here. So for question number one, um, if the measure of angle JCD is equal to 90 degrees and the measure of angle BCD is equal to 124 degrees. The task is to find, find the measure of angle BCJ. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and take a look at um, the solution to this problem. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to write down the angle addition postulate okay so that's what we're going to do first all right so we know that this is a this angle right here is a small angle so let's call it small one this is a small angle and then this other angle right here is another small angle let's call it small two so we know from the angle addition postulate that when you add these two small angles together what do you get you get the big angle, so this right here, this angle, the combination of both of them, this is the big angle. All right, so keep in mind, small plus small equals big. Let's write down the small angle first. So let me just write this down. We have, we know that small one, change the color. So small one plus small two, is going to be equal to the big angle. All right, so this is going to guide our construction of the angle addition postulate. So using the values that we have here, if we apply the angle addition postulate to this scenario, we're going to have the measure of angle um, JCD. We can call it JCD or DCJ, doesn't matter, okay? So in the measure of angle JCD plus that's the first small angle plus the measure of angle. The second small angle can be expressed as JCB or BCJ, okay? Since we're given BCJ here, let's use that format. 
the measure of angle BCJ, all right, going in the counterclockwise orientation, equals the measure of the big angle, all right? So the big angle is a measure of angle DCB. Alrighty, so there goes our angle addition postulates um, applied to this particular problem. So after you write down your angle addition postulate, all you do next is just substitute your known and use it to solve for the unknown. All right, so what do we know here? We know that the first um, small angle JCD is 90 degrees. So this small one right here is 90 degrees. All right. And then we also know that BCD, BCD represents the big angle. The big angle is 124 degrees. Small two, the second small angle is what we are looking for. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and plug it in. If we plug it in, we'll have the first small angle, which is a right angle of 90 plus the second small angle, we do not know what it is, so we'll leave it using the name, measure of angle BCJ equals the measure of the big angle DCB, and that is 124 degrees. Ladies and gentlemen, our geometry problem has resulted in an algebraic equation in one unknown. The unknown is the measure of angle BCJ. All right, so now we're gonna flex our algebra muscles and solving this problem. To get measure of angle BCJ by itself, we have to get rid of this positive 90 degrees here. So we're gonna use the inverse operation of plus 90, which is minus 90 degrees. So we'll apply that to both sides of the equation. So you subtract 90 degrees from both sides of um, the equation. And then that will result in the isolation of me the measure of angle BCJ. And the correct answer will be on the right side. All right. So let's go ahead and combine that on the left side. These two add up to zero. So you have the measure of angle BCJ. You subtract um, 90 from 124. So 412 minus 9 is 3. So the measure of angle BCJ, the second small angle, has the measure of 34 degrees. And you can always check your answer. How do you check your answer? If you add the two small angles together, you should end up with the big one. So 90 plus 34, if you do the math, you end up with 124. That shows that our answer is in fact correct. Alrighty, let's take a look at question number two, and then we'll give you an opportunity to do some practice problems. So for question two, considering this um, given diagram down here, if uh, the measure of angle ABD is equal to 95 degrees, and the measure of angle ABC is equal to 145 degrees. The task is to find the measure of angle um, DBC. Okay. All right, so let's do this. So first things first, we're going to write down the um, angle addition postulate, applying it to this particular scenario that we're dealing with here. And then we're going to substitute and solve. Alrighty, so we know that if we add this small angle right here, let's call it small one, and this second small angle right here, small two, was going to result. The combination of these two angles will give us the big angle. Okay, so that will give us the big angle. So this is this angle right here is small two, and this one right here is small one. Now let's go ahead and write down um, the angle addition postulate. So we know that small one plus small two is going to give us the big uh, angle. Okay. All right. So if we apply the notation that we have here um, to this scenario, we have small small one is going to be the measure of angle A, B, D. 
Okay, so this angle right here plus small two is the second angle right here, which is a measure of angle um, D, B, C. That's going to be equal to the big angle, the combination of small one and small two. Okay, so that's going to be equal to the measure of angle A, B, C. Now this, ladies and gentlemen, is the angle addition postulate. Notice D is the interior point, so AVD plus DBC is equal to ABC. All right, now that we have our postulate down, we can now go ahead and substitute our unknowns and knowns and use it to solve for our unknown. All righty, so what do we know? We know that angle ABD, which is one of the small angles, small one namely, is 95 degrees. Angle ABC, which is the big one, the combination of the two is 145 degrees. And small two, the second small angle, is what we're looking for, question mark. Alrighty, so if we substitute, measure of angle ABD is 95 degrees plus measure of angle DBC. We do not know what that is, so we leave the name in place of it. Equals the measure of angle ABC, the big one, combination of the two, which is 145 degrees. Ladies and gentlemen, we have an algebra problem now resulting from our geometry um, postulate. Now let's go ahead and solve this using algebraic tools. So to solve this equation with one unknown, we're just going to isolate the unknown, which is measure of angle DBC. So in order to do that, we're going to get rid of 95, positive 95 degrees using its inverse. The inverse of um, addition is subtraction, so you subtract 95 degrees from both sides of your equation. So if you do that, that will result in the isolation of our unknown, namely the measure of angle DBC, the second small angle. On the left side of the equation, these two add up to zero, so you're left with the measure of angle DBC equals 145 degrees um, minus 95, 5 minus 5 is 0, and then 14 minus 9 is 5. Bam. Ladies and gentlemen, the measure of angle DBC, the second small angle, is 50 degrees. And you can always check your answer by adding these two measures, small 1, which is 95, plus 50, small 2. You notice you get 145 degrees, which shows that our answer is in fact correct. Alrighty, now it's time for you to carry out some practice. Um, we'd like you to go ahead and pause this video presentation at this time and try out these four practice problems. As soon as you're done, click on the playback button and we're going to reveal to you what the answers to question numbers one to four are. Alrighty, welcome back. So hopefully you had a chance to try out these four practice problems. Let's take a look at the solutions. The answer to question number one, measure of angle B, uh, BRS is 72 degrees. For number two, the measure of angle HIU is 68 degrees. Number three, the measure of angle QRK is 70 degrees. And for number four, the measure of angle IVW is 150 degrees. So ladies and gentlemen, how well did you do in these four practice problems? Let us know your score in the comment section below. Um, and if there are any questions or comments, clarifications that you have about these four problems or what we did in our tutorial, just um, specify it in the comment section and we'll be more than glad to support you. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. We really appreciate it. If you found the contents of this tutorial helpful in your preparation for you, uh, in, in your studies of geometry, do give us a like or a thumbs up. Your positive feedback is extremely valuable to us. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel. We upload tons of math tutorials to our page on a regular basis. And um, also check out our website at mathgodserve.com for tons of resources to help you do an excellent job in geometry. Don't forget, if you have any questions or special requests, just put it in the comment section below and we'll be glad to respond. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.